Hello, hello. Oh my goodness, happy Tuesday. And uh, welcome back to another episode of our um, of our weekly um, Beauty Babes uh, mini beauty sessions. And tonight's topic, we're talking about crepey skin, not creepy skin. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you gotta love uh, autocorrect, right? So uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. I blasted out, hey, how to repair your creepy skin or whatever. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, that says creepy. <laughs> that can't be right. Well, anyway, cheers to tonight. And I hope you've had a most beautiful day. Would love for you to drop me a comment when you hop on so that I can see that you're here. And um, also comments get you entered into prize drawings. And we always have a little prize to give away every week to our guests and our and any consultants who hop on. Um, just as a thank you for taking the time out of your busy day. So um, hello, hello. I see we've got one person here, two now. That's great. And I just curious, um, be sure you type your name in the chat for me just in case um, so that I know who you are. On my end, it might say like Facebook user. Anyway, just so I can communicate with you a little bit better. Uh, so last week we talked, we had, you know, we talked about contouring and highlighting. And I'm curious, I would love to know if uh, anyone who's on here, if you had a chance to give that a try, if you played around with contouring or highlighting at all. And so, yeah, let me know that. Oh, hi, Loretta. Yay. Thanks for dropping your name in here. Cheers, my friend. Oh, my goodness. So nice to uh, get to connect with you this way. Mm. So today was um, a really um, special day for me today in my Seroptim, um, in my, well, it, within my Seroptimus Club. Um, so today was the installation of the new board of officers for the incoming year. And I um, am step, you know, it's my turn to step down as president of the club and, and um, just be the club advisor this next year and welcome in a new president who I'm super excited about. Um, she's actually one of my Mary Kay customers, really super nice lady, Chris D. Christina. But installation of the new officers is always really, really special in um, Seroptimus, in our local club here. Um, our club does such a good job. Anyway, it was super fun. The theme was um, groovy, hippie, flower power, flower girl kind of thing. But it was just too much fun. So I had that going on today. Hey, Liz. Oh, my goodness. So glad you're here, too. Anyway, um, we've got a big week this week in the land of Oakdale. And I know Liz has been super busy with her involvement in the Cowboy Museum getting ready for um, Oakdale's 150th anniversary celebration of our town. And so we'll be, um, Sir Optimus will be showing up with a float. And we're going to be working on that Thursday, I think. And, and um, I know Liz is busy with that too, but that's going to be really cool for our community. Um, coming up, it's like Thursday through Saturday. We've got all kinds of activities going on with that. So that's really fun. Anyhow, um, okay, so let's just get right to it tonight. We are, you know, I'm, I'm you know, as we age, we, t our skin starts thinning and it can be really frustrating, right? Because we end up with bruises on our forearms, you know, um, just by touching something and on the backs of our, our hands, right? Um, you just barely mix the wall or touch something and it's like, boom, and you get all these crazy red blotchy bruised look and stuff on your skin and that is no fun at all right and then you know it happens on our our face and you know like our eyelids get more thin and crepey right um same with our neck our chest but boy um back of hands and the forearms are real um really something we battle with as women and as we age right so you know, is there a way to really help that? Is there really a way to um, prevent it, um, repair it after maybe it's feel like it's too late? I don't know. So we're going to talk about that tonight. All right. Um, definitely make sure you drop your name in the comments. I know Loretta has. Um, that's great. If, if, you know, drop your name in the comments so you can get entered into the little prize giveaway at the end. So um, forearms and back of hands are problem areas for us 
tests as we get older, as well as our, like I mentioned, our eyelids, uh, neck, face, things like that. We have to protect our skin's integrity so that our skin doesn't tear and bruise. Um, you know, recently, uh, my sister sent me a picture of her, of her forearm, and I felt so bad for her because it was all bruised up, and she had just simply hit it against something that she was carrying in from the garage, and it just had this cascade of bruising up and down her arm, and I'm like, wow. And, you know, she's three and a half years older than I am, so everything that happens to her, I know what's going to happen to me, <laughs> right? And I'm just like, man, that really sucks. I'm sorry that, you know, and I'm definitely starting to see signs of having issues with that myself, right? So, um, you know, just a reminder, it's how important it is to take care of our skin. You know, our skin is the largest organ in our body. And, um, oh, yay, um, I'm glad your mom is watching with you. That is so fun, Liz. That is awesome. Um, anyhow, our, our skin is the largest organ on our body, right? And it's really important that we take good care of it. So what causes creepy skin? Um, I first want to say, you know, one of, well, we're going to talk about some of the things that cause it. And, and um, all of these things have to do with um, a thing called free radical damage. So, for example, the number one cause of creepy skin or thinning of the skin is ultraviolet radiation. UVA rays um, can even come through windows, you know, in our home, in our car, and you know, that's why it's, it's really, it's really difficult. You know, I have, I definitely have more age spots on this side of my face than this side. And I think it's just from being, I don't, I don't know. Cause I mean, this side of my face, we mean, I'm getting it from being a passenger in the car. It's just so crazy. I don't know, but, but I know that it's due to sun damage. Um, the second reason, you know, cause of crepey skin is, is lack of moisturization to the skin. And that can be easily fixed with a good moisturizer. We're going to talk about one of my new favorites tonight, which is Eucerin Intensive Repair Lotion. And yes, I know it's not a Mary Kay product, but that's okay. And I'm going to tell you why I'm giving a plug to this product a little bit later, okay? Um, all right. And then a third reason that causes crazy skin is smoking. You know, if you're a smoker, you just need to quit. That's, that is, that actually, that, that's higher than, it's really not, it's my third reason. It's not really the third reason. I think it's right up there with UVA radiation. Smoking and UVA are the two main things that harm our skin the most. Sleep deprivation. You know, you need to get your eight hours of sleep if you're one. Oh, Beth's on. Hi, Beth from Colorado. Oh my gosh. I hope you're not near Arvada. It's so sad. Elliot told me that there was another shooting there today and we lost a police officer and Arvada was is right by Boulder, you know. Anyway. Oh hey there. Oh my gosh. Um my friend from Sir Optimus is on here. Um that is so much fun. Thank you for being here. That is so great. So anyhow, I'm sorry, I digress. I get looking at these little comments and I get excited. Um, you know, sleep. It's really important important to get our sleep. There's a lot of you, I know, Liz is one of them, but bless your heart, Liz. I wouldn't get a lot of sleep either if I had to be at work at four in the morning for crying out loud. That's really tough. Sleep is one of the big things. You definitely need to try to get a full eight hours of sleep, okay? These are things that cause creepy skin. Not creepy, creepy. <laughs> As it gets creepy, it can become creepy looking, right? Um, okay, and then pollution on the skin. That's a biggie. Um, even if you don't wear makeup, this is why it's Adam. I'm very much a stickler about this. You've got to wash your face at night. Uh, it's the same thing like with the eyeglass illustration. There's always junk on my glasses at the end of the day. Um, our skin is not clean at the end of the day. We really should shower, honestly, at the end of the day and get everything all washed off because the day has is, has free radicals that are getting on to our skin and that's accelerating the aging process yes, all right um and then finally you know poor nutrition um processed sugary foods is a big one um we need to have a better diet high in fruits and vegetables 
antioxidants, okay? Those things provide antioxidants, helps fight off free radicals, um, and so on and so on. So what products can help best with fighting, with helping with our, our crazy skin problem, okay? Um, um, the most effective treatment, according to the research I did, which was done by a board certified dermatologist, um, and I'm going to reference her later on too, um, is, vit is a vitamin A derivative retinol. Okay, so that's good because Mary Kay actually came out with a fantastic retinol. Um, but anyway, it helps retinol, helps um, with skin firmness, but it does, it can take up to a year to really notice the benefits of the skin improving. And one thing to note about retinol, what this dermatologist mentioned was that um, it does help with with skin firmness, which I think is great. We all know it smooths the skin. It helps with discoloration um, and it helps with fighting the lines and wrinkles, but it can actually improve the, it's improving the underlying barrier, the barrier of the, the skin's barrier. I'm not a scientist, so I can't really explain it that great, but I, um, you know, it's basically boosting our collagen and it's making that framework that's underneath the skin um, you know, well, like it, when, you know, it used to be, we want it to be really, um, nice and tight, all those tissues and connective things that are going on instead of, uh, broken apart. Right. And that is what, you know, we don't want it to be like this and the retinol tightens it up. So that's maybe a better illustration of what's going on underneath the skin's barrier. Okay. So, um, interestingly to note, you know, most of you know, because you use Mary Kay products and you love them and you value what Mary Kay brings to the table, you know that we have the good housekeeping seal of approval on the majority of what we market to you all. Um, good housekeeping recently named the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions product, which I have right here, um, an all-star anti-ager in their 2021 Beauty Editor Awards. So um, that was really cool to see Mary, Mary Kay be featured in that, um, the clinical solutions product in particular. Okay, so the other thing that I wanna talk about that for preventing crepey skin, retinol is the number one way to help with that. And you know, with retinol, we're promoting that for the face, the neck and the decollete, okay? I'm, I'm curious, maybe we should be doing it on the back of our arms and hands. I might play around with that. I might call the company and ask about that, but I'm thinking maybe that's something I might consider trying. That skin is certainly a little tougher right now and it might be a little bit um, easier in the retinization process. But anyway, you, um, the main thing with retinol for us is looking at the face, the neck, and the decollete. Okay. So um, if you're not on retinol clinical solutions, by the way, Mary Kay has one of the highest percentages of pure retinol on the market. Good housekeeping seal mentioned that. And we take you through a gradual process of getting retinized so that you don't have so much skin irritancy with it. You're not going to be dry, you know, flaky, miserable. And here's, um, it's because of our calming facial milk with fatty acids in it. And then here's the pure retinol, 0.5%, okay? Comes in this nice box set. Um, it lasts about four and a half months if used as recommended. And it's a game changer for sure, but you gotta stay out of the sun. What's the number one cause of crepey skin? UVA radiation, don't forget that. Hey, Charlotte. <laughs> I think that's my cousin Charlotte. You guys, most of your names just say Facebook user, so I don't really know who you are, your name. I know Yolanda's here, but Yolanda, it says Facebook user, but I'm super glad you're here. Um, okay, so we have to commit to sunscreen, all right? Um, and a hat and sleeves, okay? I keep a sweater with me and I keep a hat with me now. Um, a wide brimmed hat, not just a baseball hat. And you just got to do it if you're going to be using retinol and just play it safe. Okay. Um, even walking out to go get the mail, um, outside watering, whatever it is, 
even if you're not on the retinol, you need to protect your skin from the sun, okay? UVA also stands for, um, I, you know how there's UVA, UVB. The B is burning rays, the A is aging rays. So anyway, okay. So the most effective treatment in helping us is the vitamin A derivative products, which are the retinol. Um, number two, the second most effective thing we can do to prevent and repair crepey skin is alpha hydroxy acid moisturizing products. Okay. This is why I brought up this big boy here, Eucerin intensive repair, intensive repair lotion. Okay. Has a red thing on it. I got it at Target and I'm going to tell you why I recommend this. And this is for the body. Okay. And the, um, for the face and it, well, first of all, let's go back to this. This has alpha hydroxy, and natural moisturizing factors. And of course it's fragrance free, but alpha hydroxy. Okay. Alpha hydroxy is really a game changer in, um, in repairing our skin. Um, so the other alpha hydroxy is the part of alpha hydroxy is glycolic acid. Um, and so we have the glycolic acid peel in our time-wise repair revealing radiance facial peel. So I highly recommend, this is a product you only need to use two times a week and you leave it on for 10 minutes. And this is for the face, neck and decollete. Okay. I do this product on Wednesdays and a weekend at night. So I think of it as WW. All right. If you're using the retinol and once your face is retinized, you want to bring this in twice a week on the days you're not using your retinol. And it's, it, it's this number two way to, um, turn, re, re, uh, to boost our collagen and repair and firm the skin is glycolic acid, okay? And we have a great product in this Time Rise Repair Facial Peel. And then the Eucerin Body Lotion is great because not only does it have the alpha hydroxy acid, but... It's got, I want to talk to you about some other ingredients that are super important and that we, you know, you got to no, 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 most people aren't experts in the ingredients. They look at the label and they're like, what the heck uh, is, you know, we know, we know what water is, right? <laughs> we know what mineral oil is. Um, but a lot of these other things, we're not so sure what they mean. Well, I found out that lactic acid is a game changer in the stuff we put on our skin. This has lact lactic acid in it. The other thing that's good for us is urea. And um, so this also has urea. Uh, so I'll talk about that in a little bit too. And then um, Mary Kay's products have, I, I'm gonna show you later, this, the Mary Kay products have the lactic acid, the urea, the hyaluronate that's so important. So I felt, after studying this a little bit more, I felt so, so good. Hey, Carla, so glad you're here. Um, felt so good about the products we do promote and you should feel super good about using them. Um, okay, so uh, the reason I was, oh, I was just saying this, the reason they are effective is the reason glycolic acid, and which is in the alpha hydroxy family is effective is because of the lactic acid. Lactic acid acts as, as skin hydrators and humectants, which help hold water onto the skin. With consistent use, they can help firm the skin. So I'm telling you, you guys, morning and night, this is a super thick lotion, put it on your forearms. It's almost too thick, but put it on and let it sit and do its thing and do it morning and night because most moisturizers only are, are effective for about 12 hours, just so you know. Um, anyhow, I think that's going to be really a good thing for our arms and the back of our hands. Okay. And then, um, I wanted to give you a tip, um, that I was given by this board certified dermatologist who I follow now, and I'll drop her link in here for you guys to see. Um, she said, stay away from crepe erase. There's a product called crepe erase that you can buy at Ulta and Sephora. 
um, it's just a total waste of your money. It's a, a play on words. Okay. And it's like $79 for a little jar, you know, and basically the main ingredient is in it is shea butter. I mean, shea butter is wonderful. Um, and, but <clears throat> there's not, <clears throat> um, that's about the only wonderful ingredient in there. <laughs> So um, it's really just not worth the money. You can do a lot better just you doing the things that we're going to be talking about. Okay. So prevention and maintenance. We talked about the need for sunscreen. We talked about you've got to wash your face morning and night. Super important. And you got to moisturize. And I want to explain real quickly why the TimeWise 3D skincare is so good. Um, you know, Mary Kay reformulated the TimeWise 3D skincare in 2018, and guess what? It has one of the number one ingredients in it that we need to for anti-aging, and that is resveratrol. The more research I do, that one comes up as the one that the studies all support. And so did this dermatologist. Um, she said, that's the product, the ingredient you want in your skincare. Resveratrol is in all four products of the TimeWise 3D line, the day cream, the night cream, and the eye cream. Resveratrol basically um, fights off free radicals and repairs and to repair damage that they cause. Um, so, you know, basically uh, it's an antioxidant. It's found in the lining of the red grape that's what makes red wine better for us than white wine. And um, so anyway, but unfortunately I still drink, well, this is rosé. <laughs> Maybe there's a little bit of benefit to that. I don't know. Um, anyhow, you know, you just cannot beat what Mary Kay's got going on in the TimeWise 3 d line. Not only is it loaded with resveratrol, um, they put vitamin B3 in it, which is a also an antioxidant, but also known as a super brightening agent. So it helps brighten the skin. And then, of course, we've got an age-defined peptide complex in there, which helps, you know, turn cells over and boost collagen. It's affordable. It's fantastic. It, it's great for people. If you've got oily skin, you do the combination. If you've got normal to dry, you do the normal to dry. Okay. Um, okay. Someone tried Crave Erase. Yep, waste of money. Well, thank you for sharing. We all live and learn, don't we? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, by the way, cute, neat, and really uh, touched me. I had a testimony of one of my actually Seroptimus sisters, a young mom that I just love, single mom in our group. She's in her, mm, I think she's in her early 30s. Anyhow, she started using a TimeWise 3D line. Her name's Rachel. She's a lovely woman. And she sent me a picture the other day. I'll, I'll ask her if I can have her permission and I'll drop the picture in our group. Um, and she said, if she, she just washed her, gotten out of the shower, washed and showed me her skin and it was glowing. And seriously, she said, my skin has never looked this good. It's glowing. I haven't even put makeup on yet. I'm so happy. And you know, that's just like, that's just so awesome. Right? So um, anyway, of course, if you use the TimeWise Repair line, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a fantastic skincare line um, as well. It It's not formulated with resveratrol. I don't know. You know, I've tried both lines and I'll be honest, I, um, you know, I really do like the TimeWise 3D. However, I mix and match a little bit at night. I tend to beef it up on the eye cream and I go to the repair eye cream. Um, I do use the repair night cream, but whatever. It's just, I, but I have used the TimeWise 3D night cream and I'm, I'm actually thinking about, I'm going to be trying that for this whole, this whole next month, because for me, um, I wake up really, um, I don't know with the time, with the TimeWise repair night cream, it's almost too much moisture. I feel like I wake up and my face is really, really, it's not oily, but it's just, I don't know. And I feel like this balances my skin out a little bit better. So you just kind of have to play around with it and try things. You can't go wrong with either one. Um, okay. So I want to jump down real quick before I lose your interest and explain. Um, we talked already about the importance of a good diet, quit smoking. If you're smoking exercise, you need to exercise better. It increases cir increased circulation and regeneration um, from exercise is super, super good for our skin and our overall health. Okay. You need to get a lot of sleep, eight hours, 
and you need to not have stress in your life. You need to try to avoid stress or have ways to manage your stress. Um, so for me, not really, it's my little glass of wine. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. No, but you know, breathing exercises and things like that. Um, so I wanted to share with you extra steps that I'm taking to improve my skin's overall elasticity, especially on my forearms and hands. Okay, back of hands and the forearms. What I'm doing now, you may think I'm crazy, but hey, I get my products at half off, so I don't care. I am putting my Serum C, of course, on my face, neck, and chest, but I'm also now putting it on my back of my, on my forearm. <laughs> at night before I go to bed. And of course my hand, right? I am putting on the Eucerin body lotion that I talked about because it has the alpha hydroxy acid in it and lactic acid. I'm putting that all over my forearms. Um, I'm using the TimeWise 3D skincare. I use the clinical solutions. I use the facial peel, the moisture gel mask. I definitely use this as often as I feel like. It doesn't really matter how many days you use this. I put this on as a last step all over to get all looped up, if you will. And I'm putting it here. I can't my arm <laughs> right in here on my forearm. Why? Because it has hyaluronate in it. What does that do? Um, I'll talk. Well, basically, it acts like a humectant to lock in moisture better. We know that moisturization is a game changer in you know, um, helping with this whole creepy skin problem. So it increases the moisture barrier. Um, and the last thing I use is the repair wrinkle filler. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Oh, I'll just tell you why. The wrinkle filler has hyaluronic acid in it and it helps reduce the visibility of fine lines and wrinkles, retaining moisture to the skin, creating a plumping effect. When the skin is protected and hydrated, Increased cell production can take place as the skin isn't busy fighting for hydration, right? This leads to smoother, plumper skin cells. Where do I use this? You know, they tell us to use it wherever you see lines and deep wrinkles or whatever. I know that I, I use it. I put on my um, eye cream first everywhere up here too. And then I let that sit for a minute. Um, mind you, the serums always go on first everywhere. Get your serum going. I really love Serum C and at night I beef it up and I use the Serum C and the Repair Serum. But again, I get a good deal on my product, so I don't care. <laughs> um, and then anyhow, the wrinkle filler, I've been putting that here and it's a very firming product. And I do put it in these other places, but mostly it's in this area, okay? Um, let's talk real quick about um, niacinamide. This is, a, niacinamide is in our time. I wanna tell you why niacinamide is important and then I'll tell you what products Mary Kay has for it. Niacinamide helps build cells in the skin while also protecting them from environmental stresses such as sunlight, pollution, and toxins. It treats acne too. Niacinamide may be helpful for severe acne, especially inflammatory forms like papules and pustules. Over time, you may see fewer lesions and improved skin texture. Most of us on here probably don't struggle with acne. However, we, we may or we may know people who do. And interestingly enough, the Mary Kay products that have niacinamide in there are our entire 3D skincare line, TimeWise 3D, our moisture gel mask that I was just talking about with the hyaluronate in it. Um, this is a super, you know, affordable product too. This tube lasts forever and it's $22, I think. Um, the 3D foundations, you know, our foundation has a 3D complex in it. So it's got resveratrol, but it's also got niacinamide. That's cool. And our CC cream. Hello. That's pretty cool too. So that's awesome. Lactic acid can be found. I told you earlier, lactic acid, how important that is. Um, it brought, I didn't maybe, it, lactic acid brightens, smooths, and evens the skin while also making it look firmer. It helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. How does it work exactly? It exfoliates by loosening the bonds between dead skin cells to reveal a more radiant complexion. Our clinical solutions has the lactic acid in it. Yay! Um, 
our 3D foundations. Oh my goodness. And um, there you have it on that. So that's pretty cool. And our the glycolic acid is important in our skin. Um, it acts as an exfoliant. It helps shed dead skin cells and reveal the newer, brighter layers that are underneath. Um, it stimulates collagen production. It helps skin to feel firmer and minimizes fine lines and wrinkles. And that would be, we get that glycolic acid in our revealing radiant facial peel. This is, this lasts six months. You only use it twice a week for 10 minutes. It's easy. You, and this kind of stuff will, I mean, you, you just need to make sure you're taking off your eye makeup at night, even if you're, or if you're not wearing any mascara, that's fine. Just make sure you wash your face, but it all starts with getting off that mascara and then wash your face and then just make sure you're hydrating it and doing this extra little steps. Okay. Um, and then of course our resveratrol, which is in our 3D skincare and the foundation, resveratrol can easily print, penetrate the skin barrier and actively slow down the aging process of the skin. Resveratrol also has an anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antioxidant properties, thus keeping your skin healthy and free from breakouts and inflammation. So we've got some good, we're, we're doing pretty good. I mean, Mary Kay's got it going. Um, I'm very pleased with, well, oh, in the last one, urea, urea, U-R-E-A. Guess what product in our lineup has urea? Serum C. Okay. Urea is used, interesting, urea is used to treat dry, rough skin conditions like eczema, uh, psoriasis, um, corns and calluses. And this effect um, helps the dead skin cells fall off and helps the skin keep more water in. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, in a nutshell, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, oh, and some, oh, yay, someone's using the clinical solutions and is retinized now. That's exciting. Um, I'd love, how is your, have you noticed, you know, eight weeks is just the beginning of your journey. Um, but after eight weeks, you should notice an improvement in the smoothness and overall appearance of your skin when you're on something like the retinol, the clinical solutions retinol. But you just continue on with it. And over time, you will just continue to see better and better results. But you got to stay out of the sun. OK, um, so I think we're at a point where I want to do a um, drawing for a, our prize giveaway. I have a cute little box here with something in it. It's super cute. It's a pink little box with little hearts on it. It says Mary Kay. And um, I just want to help. thank you all for being here. And I hope it was helpful to you. So my dear friend, Liz, um, if she sees, if she's been keeping track of our guests that are on here. And Liz, I'm going to let you drop the name of our winner. And unfortunately, my pom-pom is downstairs. So I can't even do my pom-pom today. But I'm going to have a sip of my wine while we do that. And while we're waiting for our, and I hope I can see the comment. Um, while we're waiting for that drawing, I just want to say that, um, oh, great. It looks like Loretta Gomes is our winner. Yay. Right on. Well, Loretta, you'll be so excited. Are you traveling this summer by chance? If you are, this will come in very handy. You are getting a little mini eye makeup remover. It's in a little bag, but yay. Oil-free eye makeup remover. Just make sure you shake it up to activate it. And that is such a great thing to say for travel time. So congratulations. Yay. <laughs> it's always fun to be a winner, right? Um, so I wanted to mention real quick before you guys hop off here. Next, I mean, this coming Monday, June 28th. Oh my goodness, at 6.30, 6.30 to eight o'clock at night, we are going to be live and in person doing an event called Celebrating Women. And it's just us ladies, myself and Liz and Anna and Yvonne and Marianne, some of us BUT babe girls are hosting it, okay? Our, basically it's hosted by our team, which is called Team Be Beautiful. And um, we are going to have a speaker 
a lovely young woman, Amy Craig, is going to share um, a little something about um, confidence and women. Okay. Um, a lot of times as women, we struggle with our confidence and she's going to give a little talk about that. And we're also going to learn more about what she does. And she happens to be, you know, the business manager and president of the Oakdale Tourism and Visitor Bureau. And that's where we're actually holding the event. So that's really cool. We're going to have wine and cheese. We wouldn't have an event without wine. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you can make it. If you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to come, you need to let us know right away. <clears throat> because the event venue, the venue only hold, we can only have 30 people. We are already up to 22. <laughs> so get your name in there if you want to attend. I think part of the 22 counts about six or so of us consultants, and I'm probably going to have us, we maybe can get away with having a few more because we could stand in the back. <laughs> We might give up our seat for you. So it's going to be a fun program where I'm going to be doing some, um, not only is it a program to uh, actually truly celebrate women and our achievements and what have you, but we're going to have a beauty bar set up. And in the beauty bar, one of the rotations that you can go through would be um, to get your foundation match. So if you're interested in getting um, a full coverage foundation match done, we'll be doing that there. We also will be talking about having our CC creams out, which is a lightweight coverage, which is super nice. We'll have um, some color to play with for the eyes. I'm actually wearing the pinks today. Not sure, you know, I'm still trying to learn how to do the pinks well, but it's all right. Anyway, and then we'll have some other fun stuff for you. And of course, we're going to have prizes and we're going to have some we're going to have some cool prize giveaways. Not just one. We're going to have like several. So anyway, hope you guys can make that. It was really fun to be here with you all tonight. And I hope you can, um, it, it all came through clear that you could hear me okay, you know, see me okay and everything. And um, cheers until we meet again. I'll be back next week with another um, topic um, and we will go from there. So, you know, if you have any questions about any of these products that we talked about tonight, uh, I will drop some links to the various products I recommended and leave them in there. I do want to say that I will drop the YouTube link to the board certified dermatologist that I found, but with a, I want to give you a, I want to ask you to not stray away from the Mary Kay products. You know, she probably gets paid by Neutrogena and I don't know, you know, she's got a bazillion million quadrillion followers and you know, that brings me, anyway, her name is Dr. Dre. She's very, very good. She's very, um, very common sense information, which I absolutely love. But um, you're welcome. I'm glad this was a good topic for you. It is timely for summer. You guys get to lube up with your sunscreen. I didn't talk about sunscreening your arms, but of course you need to put sunscreen on your arms. But anyway, the main thing is really hydrating them and getting the skin firmer by doing some of these things. But um, one reason I support Mary Kay products versus, let's say, something like Neutrogena, which we know has a big R&D lab, and some of these other companies, you know, they're great companies, I'm sure. Um, Mary Kay is a great company, too. And I know that Mary Kay, you know, was founded by a woman. She was all about helping women. Um, overcome obstacles and things like that. And the foundation that Mary Kay has where they give back is what really impresses me because it's, they give, they have started pretty much all the, most of the domestic violence shelters across the country have been found, uh, funded in some way by Mary Kay. That means a lot to me. Um, they also have a huge, um, you know, uh, R and D, they, they, they do a huge amount of grants each year to uh, physicians um, to further research for cancers that affect women. So the whole focus is women. And I really appreciate that being, you know, a woman and being in Seroptimus. And it just means a lot to me. And they keep their price um, competitive with a lot of these other brands. And the other thing that is a game changer with Mary Kay, in my opinion, is the fact that the ingredients that go into the products that they produce are backed by the European Union guidelines versus FDA, 
that is a huge big deal so anyway all right my friends cheers until next time have a lovely evening and i'll see you hopefully monday okay bye take care Mwah.